Hello, my name is Thane and here is the latest update about Midjourney, style reference has been updated to version 2. I feel like this feature was just released and we already got an update to it. According to David Holtz, it should be much more precise about understanding style and it should be much better at not leaking non-style stuff into your images. Style reference works pretty much in the same way it did before. All the changes seem to have happened on mid-journey's end. You can still use it with dash dash s ref. And you have dash dash sw available as the style weight from 0 to 1000. And the old version doesn't seem to be available anymore. Let's do a deep dive to see how the style reference works with a few examples. I was testing things out for a totally different kind of video, but here is an image generation with just the prompt, Eldritch. It produced some krakens in a dark green or blue watery setting. Then I took the word fantasy as a prompt. Just for comparison reason I have set the seed number to 777 for each of the images I generated. This way, my generations are always set to the same seed number and all the changes I make come from the changes I make to the prompt or style reference. On its own, the fantasy images are pretty, atmospheric and a bit painterly. Then I added the word eldritch in front of the word fantasy. This resulted in some darker colors and slightly more tentacles. Then I removed the word eldritch, used only fantasy, as the prompt and added a style reference to my original prompt for Eldritch. I used the entire grid as the style reference and got this as a result. So I guess this is the part where the version 2 of S ref should be better at things. It has the colors spot on. And not too many tentacles. I could say that these are fantasy images but with the Eldritch style applied on top there. I think the older version would have most likely also included some tentacles here, even though it was not supposed to do that. And just for fun I also added the word Eldritch in the prompt and kept the style reference as the same. Then I did get some more tentacles in the image, but in my opinion, the resulting images really are stylistically more similar to the style reference. Actually, the fantasy style and the Eldritch style are quite similar stylistically. That's why I thought I would change things up a bit. Here is the prompt, drawing of a cat. Here is the prompt, Eldritch drawing of a cat. I really liked how this came out. Here is the style reference applied to the prompt, drawing of a cat. So it's not exactly a drawing anymore, but it has still fought against the style a little bit, resulting in some muted colors. But there is no tentacles. So adding in the word Eldritch gives us cat monsters with tentacles. Let's use the same prompt and look at how the style weight behaves at different breakpoints. Starting off with Eldritch drawing of a cat, with Eldritch style reference at style weight 0. Only a tiny change actually, one of the cats is different, but the rest are pretty much the same. Increasing the style weight to 10, we see small changes, slightly scarier looking cats, but we are not at cat monsters yet. Let's jump ahead to style weight 50. We do see some more tentacles, so compared to the default style weight of 100, it's not entirely monstrous, but no longer cute either. Let's look at the other side of the spectrum as well. Here is again the default at 100. First, let's go to style weight 200. But it's getting extreme already. There aren't that many cats left here anymore and there is a lot of tentacles. At style weight 500 we don't have any trace of cats or drawings anymore. And at style weight 1000, we are really far into the tentacle monster territory. I think this works quite similarly to the stylized value, but with the style reference. There is actually beginning to be so many different value scales that it's difficult to even understand how they all behave. And it's even more difficult to get a grasp on how they behave in combination with each other. There is starting to be so many combinations of the different scales that it would be impossible to show or check every combination. Even if you were only to select four breakpoints for each of the different scales, you would end up with over 4,000 different combinations. I guess best results are achieved for all the sales at either the default value or at moderate values, definitely not in the extreme ends of the scale. But let me know in the comments below, what do you think about the new style reference version? Did you even notice a difference? Or it is as different as night and day? And how much do you use the different kinds of scales, 
or do you stick with the default values most of the time? I look forward to reading your answers. So thank you in advance. Also, if you like this kind of content and would like to see more of it, please consider subscribing to my channel, and I also appreciate all likes as well. Thank you for watching and let's continue prompting.